Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to replace the main battery in the VW to Erg 5 liter V10 die. The whole thing is not complicated but a bit cumbersome, so I ask you to watch the whole video from beginning to end so that neither you nor the vehicle can be damaged. First of all, I recommend connecting an external car battery to the vehicle. The positive pole is under the red cap, and the negative pole next to it on the body. This procedure is intended to prevent the control units from emptying, and the radio code is also not deleted. Then we remove the floor mats at the front and back. Be careful not to tear off the twist locks. The interior is now prepared for the dismantling of the car battery, which is located below the driver's seat. And now we move the backrest and sitting position forward as far as possible. Next we need to remove the rear seat rail covers. These are simply pulled straight out towards the back. It may be that these are a little difficult to remove, so please only use light force so that no clips break off. Wonderful! And now we set the sitting position back as much as possible. Now we pull the to front seat trail covers out towards the front. Please be careful there too, and if necessary move your sitting position all the way up. And now the lower seat trim has to be dismantled. Please proceed carefully so that the clips shown do not break off. Move the seat all the way back. And now we can remove the front door screws from the seat frame. To remove the rear to work screws, the seat has to be moved back completely to the front. Now we have easy access to the rear to work screws. The seat can now be folded back. The battery is located here below the black and white cover. So that this can be removed, the signal cable and the foot fan duct must be removed. Now we open the snap locks of the battery box. These are located on all four corners of the box.
Now we can remove the lid. First, we remove the minus cable. I just put the minus cable on its side. Next, I remove the battery holder. And now, the corner bracket of the battery has to be unscrewed and removed. Now I disconnect the positive pole cable, making sure that the positive pole cable does not touch the body or other metal parts. That's why I wrap the cable in a plastic bag and put it on its side. I also recommend wearing special electrician's gloves to avoid electric shock. Before the battery can finally be lifted out, the battery ventilation hose must be pulled off. The time has come, the battery can go out. The new battery can now be used. To ensure that the battery is optimally positioned, simply shake the battery carefully until it sags evenly into the battery box. Now the installation begins in reverse order, which means that the ventilation hose is connected to the battery first. Next, the corner bracket is reattached. Do not fully tighten the bracket yet if the battery seat needs to be readjusted a little. Then I unpack the positive pole cable and logically put it on the positive pole of the car battery. I now screw the positive pole cable tight. Now it's the turn of the negative pole cable. Put on and tighten as with the positive pole. All screws must be tightened with the torque specified by the manufacturer. And now the battery is fixed again with the battery holder. Before the box is closed, check all screws again and tighten with the torque specified by the manufacturer. Now the battery box is closed again with the lid and the four outer clips. Then the foot blower duct is reinserted and screwed tight. In addition, it must be ensured that the signal cable is correctly hooked in again so that it is not crushed and damaged when changing the sitting position. The driver's seat is now folded back into its original position. Make sure that the holes in the seat unit and the threaded holes in the footwell are aligned. In other words, the screws must be able to find their way back through the holes in the threaded holes. Here, too, when tightening, the torques specified by the manufacturer must be observed. The seat must be moved back completely to the front in order to be able to screw in the two rear screws again. The lower seat trim is now reassembled. Pay attention to the clips.
Now it's the turn of the rail clouding. These are carefully pushed back into the rails. Correct the seat height if necessary. And now it's the turn of the rear rail clouding. Please also work with caution here. We are now almost at the end. Now clip in the plastic caps in front of the lower seat trim. And now put the floor mats back in place. And last but not least. Just disconnect the external battery and that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and if you liked it then you're welcome to subscribe to me. I wish you all the best, stay healthy and hope to see you soon. I hope I have helped you and I hope you enjoy your work. Disclaimer, I give no guarantee and no guarantee for the correctness and completeness of the work shown. Please ask a licensed professional mechanic before attempting repairs on your own. Please always observe the legal safety instructions in order not to suffer any injuries. Thanks very much. Goodbye.